Hey everyone, today I wanted to go over open world games and some common strategies that I use when fighting them and what better way than walking through a few of them. So, here I'm really just buffing and getting ready. The gang's fairly far away and don't seem to want to chase initially so I had time. Now I'm switching to straight swords just because I'm really not that great with them and wanted to practice. The closest phantoms using the size here, the one I was focused on. And the size is easily strafable with decent latency. It gets harder the more latency there is, obviously. Uh, you notice me using Bloodhound Steph a lot. I'm trying to keep a good amount of distance between the side and the Guts Great Sword. You can get blended fairly easily. Dodging through for the quick backstab, but couldn't finish it off since his two buddies were right there. So when finding gangs, generally if you want to isolate them and do big damage to one and hopefully one-shot one. Again, I get a decent backstab here, but there's too much pressure to really finish any of them off. But this phantom decided to isolate himself down the cliff, so I didn't have a little time to chase after him. trying to straight the side, but it's not working because I'm an idiot, and I switch back to the Nagakiba, just because I'm kind of done with the power stance straight sword. There I was just an idiot and forgot I didn't have Bloodhound Steps still a blitz. But now I do on my offhand Nagakiba. little bit of time, or at least I thought I did, to uh, try and buff back up. So around this point, it's becoming clear to me that I'm not going to be able to isolate any of them, but luckily there's a small amount of PvE around that I can use to help and then he blocks something he's trying to block and I'm able to take a shot more. At which point the invasion becomes much easier. So this fandom seems to be the most confident and willing to take me on first. The host is just trying to blindside me when I'm not paying attention. But here I shoot a lightning spear at the host just as a stop doing that. Because I want to keep the PvE support alive for as long as possible. And now it's finally one on one with the host where I'm able to take him out fairly quickly. Trading there. And so that's an invasion with a small amount of PvE support. For this next one, it's going to be an invasion with what I call bad PvE support. At first, I think it's a two-on-one, which I'm comfortable trying. I'm hoping that this phantom here is going to use the standard running R1 on halberds that people love to use. But he keeps going for the jumping heavy, which can still be strafed, it's just more difficult. And at this point, it's becoming clear to me if I stick around, I'm going to get blendered fairly quickly. So 
switching to this warm hog just so I can quit. Get off of me. And out of nowhere, a third phantom shows up. And I'm switching to my Bloodhound Step Misery Accord because blenders happen quick. And I see the dog. I wasn't aware it could hit me, but it can. So, you know, that's just something to pay attention to. But at least I have the phantom alone. Fairly certain I could take one more hit, so I traded there to take him out. Now fighting the bull goat phantom. And the dog does me a solid there by finishing him off. Now, the host is using, they're not power stand straight swords, but they're the equivalent to it. I'm switching to a shield poke setup just because I wanted to parry him and that attack is super easy to parry. But in general, power stand straight swords do a lot of damage real quick. So I like to have a shield to block the backswing. For this last invasion, it's your classic Limgrave gank, where there's no real PvE support to speak of, and you can see pretty quickly that these are much rougher than even a small amount of PvE support. So here I'm just kind of poking them to take them off and get them to chase me. Uh, the idea in general is you want to take one out as quickly as possible because once again uh, 2v1 is infinitely easier to fight than a 3v1. I use this right here and I end up hopping on top of that little pillar because it's going to be harder to chase me on that narrow hallway. But the host comes with a dubious spam to stop the waterfowl there. And as an aside, I really hate Reduvia. Such a good ganker tool, I hate it so much. So this phantom here, I end up switching to the Radon's Greatsword. In the open field, they're super easy to backstab, but on the plateau around a corner like this, Using the full Ash of War, you can get... This shield's not really meant for it. But you can get a solid 1300 damage off of it, which is nothing to sneeze at. And gankers often don't have the largest amount of vigor. And I'm hoping I can finish him off, but... His buddy does a good job of saving him here. There's just the fuck up. I was messing around with my inventory trying to learn how to chainsaw. And... I don't know why he was trying to parry there, but okay. So at this point, I'm just wandering around searching for something, some minor PvE or an obstacle I can use to separate them. Once again, with that Reduvia spam. So here I switch to the uh, Urtree Great Shield, which Storm Retaliation can work on the Reduvia. I don't think I'm going to kill him with it. I'm just hoping to use it as a put that away tool. Here they stop chasing so I take a chance to buff up again. You always want to 
yourself up whenever you get a chance. Up here, I'm just trying to make some distance so I can heal and Blessing of the Earth Tree can build some HP back up. I like obstacles like that one previously that you have to do a lot of jumping because a lot of times people don't and they get stuck on something and you can make a little bit more space. general I like to heal whenever I'm around two-thirds HP. Blenders happen so quick in this game that unless you're topped up or near topped up. Now this phantom finally makes a mistake here of isolating himself and at this point I'm fairly ticked off at the situation and switch to power screen spears just because I want him dead. Nothing's a giant middle finger like power stamp spears. But one finally goes down. Switching the halberd here, hoping I can roll catch him. And I'm an idiot, forget about the Redivia. Damn ADHD brain. I'm switching back to the Earth Tree Great Shield just to remind him. Put that away. On the back out there, but I was way too far away. And thankfully, a red shows up, but he's AFK. And I'm out of flash. So, generally, I don't like to kill other reds, but since he's AFK, I figure he's far more useful to me as flash than he is standing there. And they don't seem to want approach him for some reason. So I can top back up here. and buffing while I get a chance. You don't want to run out of FP. You always want to be able to Bloodhound step or endure away if given the chance. And coming up here, the uh, the host decides to isolate himself. Which is kind of the situation I'm hoping for. And I take him out very quickly with a couple crouching L1s. But not going to keep a crouching L1's great at roll catching or catching panic rolls. Anyway, that tends to be my thought process whenever I'm fighting gangs. I look for PvE, see if there's some support that I can use. If not, unfortunately, a lot of it's running, waiting to be able to one-shot a phantom. Or separate one out to where you can get a 1v1 with one of them. And then turn it into a 2v1 afterwards, since that's so much easier to fight than three people spamming stuff at you. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys learned something. Till next time.